becoming a creative was uh, nothing I really wanted to become. In high school, I tried to take um, being creative and making it practical. I didn't know any artists. You know, I, I knew, you know, Bill Bixby and a few people from TV. But, uh, you know, and I knew my grandparents, and they kind of had a little shop, and it was kind of practical application of art. I think it just really kind of opened up a doorway of, of just an outlet of all the different ideas that you have as a kid, and it never it never stopped. Um, you know, I, I tell people I think I was supposed to have some type of creative business because the first uh, uh, kind of hustle or business transaction I can think of was being at uh, my aunt and uncle's house, um, probably fourth grade, and and uh, going around on kids uh, in the neighborhood and drawing on their arm and charging them a quarter for tattoos. Yeah. He's a very uh, uh, technical person, but at the same time, it kind of merged, you know, the both sides of my brain, the creative part and that. So. Um, I don't know if it was like, I would see different like short term uh, kind of hustles, you know, maybe like, hey, I'll design a friend of mine CD cover, you know, or I'll, I'll, I'll you know, uh, do a website for a project, but I really, it really wasn't a money thing. I thought about this, you know, maybe, you know, a few years ago when I was thinking, you know, well, how the heck did I get to do on some of the things that I do? And it was just really having a family that never... And unless I was doing something destructive, but never told me no. You know, I, I did uh, people CD covers. I got you know um, different projects along that line, and and that was great. And uh, I don't know, it, it took off a lot quicker than what I expected. My mom could get me a million presents for a holiday or for Christmas or something, and if I got a, a ream of paper and some pens and you know pens and and, and pencils and, and such, um, that would trump any bike or a rocket or anything, you know, a wagon she could have got me. Uh, I'd play with those th those things for a few, you know, days and then it would be back to pens and paper. I think when I realized that I could do like a real business at it was fairly early on where I was just kind of going at it blindly and just, you know, uh, getting a lot of uh, clients that would kind of pay me short-term print jobs. Um, but, uh, that was that was pretty that was pretty early. That was like pretty much when I started started. Hey, this is Jason Fisher and that's all I have for the moment.